The extinction capital to the extinction capital of the world, Hawaii, is in my opinion the Laysan Island. It acts as a microcosm for what was happening to wider Hawaii when both Polynesians and Europeans arrived to drive species out of existence or to the far corners of the map. Laysan Island sits in northwest Hawaii, with a size of 1 mile wide by 1.5 miles long, and it is today uninhabited by human beings. At its highest point, it is only 15 meters tall, with a central lake that is roughly three times more saline than the ocean that surrounds it. This small obscure island offers a unique opportunity for any seabird that stumbles upon it, and much like New Zealand and the main island of Hawaii, it has become an important breeding site for about 5 million seabirds. On this tiny island, five endemic species evolved, all being key examples of how islands can support fascinating life. So in this shorter video, I will go over some of these endemic species, including honey eaters, ducks, and seabirds. I hope you enjoy. Out of the five endemic birds of Laysan, three are extinct today. First to go extinct was the Laysan millerbird, then the Laysan honeycreeper, and finally the Laysan rail, with the Laysan finch and the Laysan duck almost going extinct themselves. Millerbirds are an extremely critically endangered species of bird and are found on a few of the northern Hawaiian islands, and though they have been reintroduced to Laysan, the original Laysan millerbird population is now entirely extinct. According to records, the Laysan millerbird experienced the island tameness effect, a trait also found in the Laysan rail, which made them particularly vulnerable to invasive species and humans, as they had no experience of mammals outside of Hawaiian monk seals. They were extremely abundant on the island, and an estimated 1,500 were alive in 1915, making their extinction a rather surprising and quick event. The introduction of European rabbits ravaged the island's vegetation from 1903 onwards. Their eggs became vulnerable to predation from the Laysan finch and other seabirds. The lack of vegetation, which was crucial to their survival, led to a huge decline of the animals. Furthermore, this habitat destruction led to a decline of the miller moths, the Laysan miller bird, almost exclusively relied on. Brine flies were already a huge food item among Laysan ducks, and so due to these environmental pressures, by 1923 they were entirely extinct, likely killed by the many sandstorms of that year. The Laysan honeycreeper was the only nectar-feeding finch on the northwestern islands, and was reportedly more cautious to humans than the rail or miller bird of Laysan, lacking the island tameless later birds in this video exhibit. It was still seen as very slow and could easily be caught by a hand net, meaning that although it was cautious of humans, it was still pretty easy to kill or catch. Its diet consisted of miller moths, much like the Laysan miller bird, and of course nectar from insects and flowers. According to observers, the Laysan honeycreeper had a terrestrial lifestyle, much like the Laysan finch, though its ability to fly was not reduced from other honeycreeper species. They had a short and sweet song that would only come into full song during January to February, due to mating season. A gold gloss would also develop over their plumage to make them look dapper. The animal was already seen as one of the rarest birds in the world by 1890, even with decent numbers. However, by 1911, another expedition found a complete annihilation of the bird population, with hundreds of bones of birds and rapid desertification due to rabbits. By this time, they were already seen as doomed even with a population estimate of about 300. In 1923, three Laysan honeycreepers were found, and as you can see here were filmed. A melancholic and completely destroyed paradise, all within about 20 years. The last three died in a sandstorm the same year. Further searches for the bird showed no luck. A bird species that spent their whole time on the floors of Laysan was the Laysan rail or Laysan Crake, a completely flightless bird. In comparison to the Hawaiian rail, which was about 6 to 8 inches in length, the Laysan rail was 5.9 inches in length. Much like most rails, they had a broad diet, one report saying that they would wait for Laysan finches to break open seabird colony eggs and would then steal the contents. They would actively show aggression to Laysan finches, though still possessed island tameness towards humans. One even allegedly stole food 
from the chickens of the island of Midway, though the animal is yet to respond to such allegations, with no video coming out as of yet. Though endemic to Lazan, records can be found on the Midway Atoll of these animals, and potentially the tiny Lysiansky Island. Due to domestic rabbits on Lazan, it found its habitat completely destroyed, and eventually the island was turned into a barren dust bowl by the 1920s. After a sandstorm in 1923, the same one that got rid of the Lazan honey creepers, it was found to be almost completely extinct, with only two individuals being found. They shortly died after the event. Some were also found on Midway still, with around eight being recorded in 1923, though by 1944 the last one was witnessed, probably going into hiding after its hand in World War II. In this next segment I'd like to go a little bit more in depth into the extinction event itself since I don't really think I clarified it very well. Starting off, there were already sailors coming to the island of Lezan, such as Japanese poachers, which were killing the birds in quite large numbers. The extinction of the unique animals of the Lezan island can be traced back to one of the many 1800s morons, in this case called Max Schlemmer. He decided the island would be perfect for supplying a future meat canning business, and released hares, rabbits, and apparently guinea pigs, I just learned that people eat those, to the island. I actually found out a pretty funny fact about Max Schlemmer. After killing 300,000 Lazan albatrosses, he got kicked off the island in 1909 by Theodore Roosevelt, who turned it into a bird reserve after numerous complaints. Now, the sort of hilarious part of this is, Although the rabbits themselves went on to kill hundreds, if not thousands of animals, indirectly or directly, Schlemmer himself ended up being accused of being a German spy during World War I, and he was accused of having Lazan as his headquarters. So, you know, uh, karma sort of has a way of uh, attacking people who destroy ecosystems. The rabbits would ravage the vegetation, eradicating 26 plant species from the island, and turning it into a barren dust bowl by 1923. Dust bowls became a common occurrence due to the loose soil and sand, and by 1923, the Lazan millibird went extinct. The same could also be said for the Lazan honeycreeper, and the Lazan rail went extinct on Lazan sometime after 1923. Fortunately, not every birdie on the island went extinct, and today two endemic species, the Lazan duck and the Lazan finch, cling on to survival. The Lazan duck or Lazan teal was a widespread species now restricted to only the Lazan islands and two surrounding atolls. It is named the rarest duck in the world and is labelled as critically endangered by the IUCN. Lazan ducks will molt all of their feathers annually and become groundbound, making them a kind of tribute act to the Lazan rail for a while. They were at one point widespread among the northern islands. After Polynesians and the rats they brought along decimated the populations, the duck could only be found on Lazan Island. Their island tameness made them pretty easy prey for the mongoose, as they would freeze up much like the kiwi bird of New Zealand. Unfortunately, this means they are not entirely endemic to Lazan, and instead are more of a relic population in a similar sense to the Lazan finch, which we will expand upon later on. Thankfully, due to a huge effort done by biologists, spanning a hundred years, it has led to a huge success with the population growing up to 500 to 680 adults, according to BirdLife Nature Zone. A second population on Midway has been created as insurance against disease and climatic events. As you can probably tell, these birds aren't very genetically diverse. A third population on Cure Atoll has further seen a resurgence in these birds, also acting as triple insurance. Hopefully with care and commitment, one day the Lazan duck will be restored to its previous vast range. Only time will tell. The only passerine species found on the island of Lazan today, the Lazan finch is a finch-billed honeycreeper that has been introduced to other islands and can now be found on the Pearl and Hermes Atoll, and at one point the Midway Atoll. Fossils also show a further range of the Lazan finch, meaning it is likely a relic population and has never been entirely endemic to the island, in a similar fashion to the Lazan duck. They eat seabird eggs and even those of its fellow endemics, including the Lazan duck and now extinct Lazan millibird. It could be deduced that due to the lack of vegetation inflicted by rabbits grazing, 
that a huge factor in the extinction of the Lausanne Miller bird may have been the Lausanne finch. So in a way, one rare bird murdered the infants of another rare bird, leading to their probable extinction. Any second now. See? Red! Oh, wait. That's blood. So, we still got problem. Big problem. All right, who's ready to go find this spy? Right behind you. <gasps> they are currently listed as vulnerable by the IUCN, with a population size of 1,500 to 1,700 according to BirdLife Data Zone. They are particularly vulnerable to climate change, a reduction in genetic diversity, and invasive species. Though it survived the Great Rabbit Terror that killed off its neighbours, the population was still only found to be around 100 individuals by 1923, when the last rabbits were eradicated. Fortunately, it has been able to recover fairly naturally, and we can be cautiously optimistic about the Lausanne finch and the future of the island, as well as hopeful for the restoration of other islands with these birds. The last bird on this list is a seabird that's endemic status to the Lausanne island is kind of invalid, since it has populations all the way from Mexico to Japan. But the heart of its population is found on Lausanne and Midway. It has a population of over 1 million individuals, and is basically a small gull species that lives for an insanely long time. The oldest bird in the world is a member of the Lausanne albatross species, being called Wisdom. It is about 72 years of age, and is still alive as of December 2023. She is so old the team tracking her has had to change her tag six times due to weathering. Though not technically endemic to the Lausanne Island, they still play a crucial role in Lausanne Finch's diet of eggs and depositing huge amounts of nutrients for vegetation. These birds reveal a truth about the duality of man. On the one hand, we have the ignorant destruction of the Hawaiian honeycreeper, Hawaiian millibird, and Hawaiian rail. On the other hand, we have the tentative restoration of the island of Lausanne with their vegetation, the Lausanne duck, and the Lausanne finch, showing an optimistic future and a world where humanity can perhaps make up for its mistakes. 2,500 subscribers is an awesome milestone, and hopefully 5k is in sight. I hope you enjoyed this shorter video. I think it was shorter, it might be longer. I'm going to be editing this in Scotland, so it might be a bit low quality. I've sort of had to rush it out, but hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless. The main island of Hawaii will be an exciting but larger project in the future once I get around to it. Shout out to my Patreon members, Zendiatrix, Gojiberry, and Toby. You guys are legends, and shout out to all of the people who have liked and supported and shared these videos.